Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. My name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. If you enjoy this video and you could press that subscribe button, I would be really, really grateful. And even the thumbs up button. And please, if you have any comments, do put them in the comments box. I do try and get back to everybody if I can. So today's video is the fifth, I think, in the episodes of Body Shape Masterclasses. And today we're dealing with a pear-shaped lady. And in fact, that pear-shaped lady is my mum. So it's even more exciting today. I've been able to buy her this lovely capsule wardrobe that you can see behind me here. And my mum is 70 years old, nearly 71. Fantastic for her age. And she always was and still is very stylish. But I think it's probably fair to say that she has lost her confidence with clothes and dressing and knowing how to dress for her changing shape as she gets older. She was kind of growing up, she was always a UK 10, 12, but now she's just less than five foot. She's a UK 14 on top probably and a 16 on the bottom. So, and, and also she has bigger arms and that she finds dressing a little bit more difficult, especially in the summer months. So she always wants to cover them up, but obviously she doesn't want to overheat as well. So we're going to try and address that today for her as well. So I think without further ado, let's get her down in front of the camera and let's get started. Right, everyone, this is my mum. This is Linda. <laughs> She's very nervous today, so please be gentle with her. So as you can see, if we move down my mum's um, shape, she's got very narrow shoulders for a start here, but she's very conscious about her arm area here. But she's not actually broad on top. If you just put your arms down a minute, mum. So a lot of people will consider themselves broad on top because they're looking from here to here. So they're including their arms, but it's not the arms that we look at in from a styling point of view. It's the shoulders from here to here. Um, I've already measured her, so I will put her measurements down the side for you. But generally you're a UK 14 to 16 on top yeah. and a UK 16 down the bottom. And you're only five, five foot. Five foot. <laughs> she's, she's little DD. So what you can see though is she's got a gorgeous little waist in there. She's got a decent sized bust, but it is smaller compared to her hips. And then this is where she's carrying her weight around the hip area. Now, if you are carrying your weight around your hip area and you're a pair and she was five foot six, even though she's a UK 16, she'd probably only look like a UK 12. So in this video, we're dealing with the petiteness from a height point of view, but also some extra width as well when you are shorter. It's a lot harder. So for any of you tall people out there, it is easier being tall, I promise you. We're gonna start by uh, broadening her shoulders here. We're probably going to put darker colours down here. We're going to do a little bit of a tuck here to make her legs look longer. We might show her ankles. We'll probably put some long layers on her. So let's start by getting you styled up and looking lovely. Okay. okay, right. So this is the first dress I've just pulled off. And in principle, she likes it, but we need to do a lot of work. And this is the stage where a lot of people just stop in the changing room. And I get it. It doesn't look that great right now. So I'm going to add a little bit of jewellery. So the reason we add the jewellery in here is right now she's looking quite pale against the blue of the dress and the paleness of the skin. So if we add some jewellery, which is the same sort of complementary colour tones, which is like a warm colour tone that she's got going on, that will help the whole colouring um, and make her look not as pale. It also is obviously styling wise, it's nicer to have a bit of jewellery in the next. Okay, so what we've done here then is we have used the shoulder pads to broaden out the top area. We've used a lighter colour on top to sort of bring the eye attention upwards. But everything is linked. If you go to the description box, it will say read more. And if you click on the read more, then all the links are there. And what I'm trying to do is link them for the UK viewers as well as for American viewers. So go further down the list look at your region and then click on the appropriate link there. Okay, so she's spotted this blue blazer, so she'd like to have a go at this one. So let's change up. That's really nice. And that's nice because straight away you can see the blue against her, her blue eyes, it just makes her pop. But a neutral blazer is great, as you'll, you'll know, because 
Um, it just goes with absolutely everything. Yeah, that's really lovely as well. I like the blue because it comes. So that's a Zara one. It is £89.99 and it is available in the UK, Europe and in America. Yeah, really nice. Okay. okay, so let's see what it's like when you pull them down. Okay, can you see how now that is just sort of overpowering my mum? And that's why it's so important to either have your sleeves shortened or, as my mum just naturally did, tuck them up. And if you see, I'll put a link up to it now. I did a video on styling hacks and that shows you how to keep your sleeves up. Okay, so just change it up a little bit uh, by adding this long cardigan instead of a blazer. Okay, um, we quite like this look as well, don't we? For I sort do. of just sort of paring it down. Mm. However, she's bothered that the coat Dress is shorter is than. Yeah. Yes, I'd have to pull it up. Yeah, exactly. So given that we've put a belt on this dress, it's very easy to shorten the length if that type of thing bothers you. That makes you feel more comfortable, that doesn't it? That makes me feel more comfortable. Yes. Okay, so we'll just put a dress on, which we both really like as well, don't we? I yeah. like it, but I don't like it so long. I didn't let the fact that I couldn't get it in a petite stop me from buying the dress because it's far easier to have a seamstress take off an inch than it is to search for that perfect dress in a petite range because anybody petite out there knows it's always a smaller range so I'm afraid it's part of just being short mum. <laughs> you passed it on to me as well. I was just showing my mum here that her rounded toe version of a neutral shoe was going to be less flattering than the pointed shoe. Now the pointed shoe elongates the legs further, it's just a lot more of an elegant look than a rounded one. We've just finished that look off with a blazer. This is a really nice waffle texture um, blazer. They were low on stock when I bought it, but if I can find it, I will link something very similar for you. But obviously the navy against the dress was, was lovely. Okay, so just why my mum is getting changed into the next outfit, I just thought I'd explain something to you. So ultimately we're trying to develop her a capsule wardrobe. So everything mixes and matches based on her lifestyle. So as you can see here, I've got four or five pink tops on the rail. Now, you know for my mum's lifestyle that she is going to need each of these items in the different weights of fabric. We've got a really nice or expensive going out pink one there. We've got a very casual pink shirt here. Oh, there is a sleeve to it, it's just, it's just hidden away. And then we've got two pink jumpers. We've got one for the, obviously, the colder weather with the higher neck on, and then we've got this Zara one, which is just nice and thin, okay? Where people go wrong is they say, I've already got a pink jumper, I'm not buying anything else in pink. But then they come to go out on a summer's afternoon to go to somebody's barbecue, and they don't have the nice pink blouse that they could exchange the jumper for, for the blouse. So you really do need the same item in different weighted fabrics for each of your occasions. Now, if you're not going out in the evening, you don't need the posher going out blouses, and you probably need more of the casual blouses and maybe the jumpers. So really reflect on your lifestyle when you are developing this wardrobe and be true to yourself with, with what your lifestyle entails. Don't dress for your fantasy life, dress for your real life. Okay, all right, so we've moved on to sort of a smart casual. This You would wear this where? To the pub lunch yeah. or something on those lines, maybe a casual restaurant. Gorgeous bright pink blouse, as you can see. We have put the shoulder pads in and I'm going to deconstruct it all in a minute to show you the difference it actually makes. Um, we've kept the gold necklace on. As, as my mom said, do I really need that necklace thing? But the answer is yes, because at some point she might want to undo that and you see it more, but also you do see the gold as well just flashing and it just helps to sort of bring her hair together. And we have a phrase in um, styling or certainly at the Style Academy that I run where I teach people. And that is that everyone needs a friend. So in terms of styling, that means two items of the same color at any one time. 
So in my mum's case, the gold jewellery mm. matches your gold hair or your gold earrings. Items could be your nail varnish. It could be your lipstick and your nail varnish match, but it always makes you look mm. styled. I think you might have taught me that. Yes. Did you? <laughs> You did, that's what you were just thinking. I could see her, her brain going, I taught you that when you were like five years old or something. Um, so we've got on down here a lovely pair of dark indigo boot cut jeans. I'll link everything, but even in the petite range, she probably needs to take them up just that little bit so that she doesn't fall flat on her face. <laughs> <laughs> or anything because we really don't want that. Reconstructing this outfit, we've pulled the top out, it's now cutting her at her widest point. Even if I just go like that, you can see the length of her legs will increase straight away. We'll take out the shoulder pads as well. So can you just see there the difference between that side and that side? I, I, I'm trying to show my mum how she could easily swap that blouse for a jumper if it was a pub lunch as opposed mm -hmm. to a pub evening type of thing. But at the moment, this looks quite big and oversized on her. So let's start playing about with it. So she's just saying, can you put trainers with it? 100%, let's grab some trainers. Okay, so I've just picked up two pairs of trainers for her. Personally, these are my favorite trainers. I wear them all the time, but they're by a brand called Kin. There we go, I'll just see if I can focus in on them. And the reason why I like them is because they've got that huge platform going on, which is fantastic. They're really good quality. They're, um, they're a leather trainer and they always wash really, really nicely. My mum likes a wedge as opposed to a platform. She gets a bad back without it. So we've got her these ones, which I think when she's wearing a longer jean, will actually, you'll hide it basically. You won't be able to see that she's got a wedge, but she'll be more comfortable in those. Not strictly a trainer, but something really in between. These Espragil shoes, they are from Carvella, I will link them. And personally, I'm going to buy those for myself. They're quite a sort of pointed trainer, so they'll look quite elegant on. That Espradrill type of platform shoe there would go really nice with perhaps a long dress. And it's just a nice alternative if a heavier trainer isn't your thing. The next ones I bought her were from June. These are them. Again, another platform heel, but that one is a slight wedge as well as a platform. So it does go up into a thicker sole there. And just the neutral nature of that color um, would go well with everything that we've tried on today. And I do find that some of my clients that aren't used to wearing a white trainer are a little bit put off by a stark white. If that's the same for yourself, then uh, this sort of color trainer would go really well and would complement any sort of wardrobe. Okay, so she just got the white wedge trainer on yeah. and I think that's just such a nice casual look. Really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. That's probably your comfort level yes. around the house. Mm -hmm. She dresses up even around the house, to be honest with you, don't you? Yes. Um, even just going to the shops, that's what you would wear, isn't it? Yes. To the the yes. shops. Now, how would you finish that off? Let's see if we can find something because... That might be all good and well and look nice in the house, but we need yes. to make sure that you can continue to look nice when you go out and about. Right. So let's have a look at the options we could finish that off. Okay, so we've just bought out that cardigan the from John Lewis. I think that looks absolutely beautiful together. I yeah. feel comfortable, it covers my... Yeah, so she said it, it covers her butt, basically. Um, even though I tell her all the time she needs to show that off because covering it up is actually going to make it look bigger. In the case of a long cardigan, she will look slimmer all the way up. Now, we do have this cardigan in navy, and a lot of you probably would come back in the comments and say, well, why don't you wear the same colour all the way through? Because that's more yes. elongating. Yes. It's just a little bit dull for my mum. I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, she put the navy one on and she was like, mm, no, I don't feel fresh enough in it. So yes, the navy cardigan would look make her look taller and slimmer, but it depends what's motivating you. Is it a more of a style perspective or is it because you want to look taller and slimmer? I think you've come to accept that you're short. So I thought we'd also just show you this shorter version. This coat is from Latalea. I think that's how you say it. They produce some gorgeous, gorgeous items. They actually did send me this as a gift and I wear it 
all of the time. You can open it up here. It's got a couple of buttons. I'll show you that in a minute. I think my mum's trying to I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you anything <laughs> she will walk out of this studio with my coat on. So really, really nice. It's 100% wool. It came within a two or three days, even though I think they're in America or even China based. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but um, brilliant, brilliant coat from Last Layer. But let me just open it up as well. And we were just saying on the spring day that it is at here at the moment, that would be that perfect mm. in between coat, yeah. wouldn't it? So yeah, we really like that coat, don't we? Yes. Yeah, really, really yeah, nice. And really nice with the pink. It just sort of just brightens it up mm. a little bit. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so okay. just while my mom is getting changed again, I just thought I would show you my outfit. It is from Reese. You all know I love Reese, but this is a great one. It is a jumpsuit, so it's all in one. Elasticated waist, as you can see. I like the neckline on it. It just kind of falls quite nicely. And I think it's it's a nice light fabric. So it's great for the summertime or in a um, warmer climate, but still it's dark enough to be quite flattering. So it, it's quite hard to get a summer piece, which is also light, which is also dark in color. So continuing with the more sort of spring lighter theme, then I've gone for a sleeveless, trench coat but this could be a wool coat if you're in winter climate it could be a sleeveless lighter weight trench coat now more of an office type of vibe going on with a more of a fitted blazer it goes just as well i'm wearing a size eight in this so it probably does come up true to size and finally just styling it up for more of a casual day i have just put on those kin trainers that i showed you earlier on and just a cross bag over and it shows you how versatile this type of outfit can be also the fact that it's only a one piece also remember with this type of thing there's nothing stopping you now putting a jumper over the top part and then all you'd see is a nice tailored trouser okay, as so well. next up we've gone for some really really casual linen trousers really practical fresh stripy top if you haven't got a stripy top in your wardrobe you need to get one they look great on everyone but there's a few things to say we've obviously already put the shoulder pads in to broaden her out like this I want to show her ankle. a lot of you will say because she's petite does showing the ankles like that shorten her and I suppose the answer is yes so it's a balance between showing a thinner part of the ankle to make her look slimmer all over, or do we want to make her look taller all over? And it doesn't have to be an and or an or. Because there we were a minute ago. So yes, we've shortened her on that leg by showing the ankle, but we're showing her slimmest part. So it's going to help to make her look slimmer all the way down. But right now that's cutting her off at her widest point. So you take the very centre point, I know some of you are having trouble with this, and you just pop it in, but just by a little bit, just by that much. What I'm seeing people do is they're grabbing that, like sort of that length, and then going like that and saying it doesn't work, okay? So, you, so now, even though we've shortened her on the leg, we've now lengthened, lengthened her on the leg up here. So that's what I mean by it doesn't have to be a and or situation. You can get an elongated frame and still show her ankles, which will make her look slim. Now, you can see how tiny my mum is right there under her bust area. The top that we were going to use was too tight round there. It was like that, wasn't it? When it's super tight round there, in one way it's good because it's showing how small she is. But remember we're trying to balance out here. So when we go so tight around here, it's going to make these thighs look bigger. So there's a compromise here. We don't want it too tight. So we almost want to make that area, I suppose, look a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. just so that looks a little bit smaller. And this is the area that we want sticking out the most. I like that look. That's really nice. And these trousers are really comfy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So they're just a navy linen trouser. I will list them in the box below. And we've got the espadrilles on, just because mum's feeling like the white trainers are really quite heavy for you, aren't they? Yes. Popped this blazer on with it. Now, my, I know my mum likes a little bit of colour, so we just picked up this scarf. 
we're putting it under the collar and that's going to further help to elongate her frame. Okay, so just before we move on from this top, I just wanted to show you how it could really easily be dressed up. And how I've done that is I've just added some navy trousers. I've paired it with the jewellery and this coat from H&M and some heels. And suddenly this very casual daytime as my mum calls it, her gardening top, can, <laughs> can you imagine how posh she looks when she gardens? <laughs> <laughs> in her marigolds that match her <laughs> her marigolds that match her outfit you wonder where I get it from it's all right. <laughs> anyway so my mum's gardening top could actually look really really nice okay so all we've done now is changed it for what is going to look like a gorgeous blouse so I feel like I'm just repeating myself constantly, but the more volume a pair can create up here, the better. And that's always with a puff sleeve and a shoulder pad. It's adding jewellery to make the eye come upwards. It's putting brighter colours on the top and darker colours down the bottom. It's about balancing the figure out on every occasion. Now to lengthen her legs. I love this. Love it? Oh, yeah, it is gorgeous. Love it. I love the colour. I love the vibe of it. Yes, it? yeah. And I think, look at the sleeve detail there. It's this type of detail that you're looking for. You're looking to, to distract from here. So when you've got extra detail like that, extra puff here, the jewellery, it's all creating a situation where the eye is away from that area and it's darting around everywhere else. So that looks absolutely lovely. Okay, so just before we move on from that, I just wanted to show you, first of all, I just pop the H&M coat over her shoulders just to say that that finishes that look off beautifully. But it may be that that overall look is just too dressy for you. So I just wanted to show you kind of equivalent pieces. One is this uh, jumper from Zara, which is just a thin knit pink jumper. And then pairing it with this cardigan that we've seen before from John Lewis. And you essentially will create the same type of outfit, but just almost one level down. This depends again on how refined or more casual you want to look. But when she's yeah. traveling, which she does a lot with my dad, if you just took all of that yes. with some white trainers and one pair of jeans, you can see how appropriate it is for wherever you're going. And that is literally all she would need to pack for a weekend away That's in London right. or whatever. And that's how a capsule wardrobe works. Okay, so next we've got this beautiful jumpsuit. And the reason I wanted to show you a jumpsuit is because I think probably when I introduced you to it initially, so this is, I bought her this, what now, six or seven weeks ago, something on those lines. Mm -hmm. And initially she said, I can't wear a jumpsuit. I'm far too old for a jumpsuit. How many times have you worn it? It's my takeaway thing to roll up and put in a case. <laughs> exactly. So it doesn't, it's a one piece item. So it takes away the anxiety around what am I going to wear with this and things like that. She's worn it low. She's been away a couple of times, worn it low, roll, rolled up, like you yeah. said. Perfect on holiday because it's lighter colours and everything. And the final thing is it was from Zara. Again, you were under the impression you couldn't shop in Zara, weren't That's you? Right. Well, I had this in the comments. I do not get paid by Zara to advertise their clothes. They don't do any sort of payment for any of this. It's just their clothes are really, really good at a reasonable price. And despite what you may think from when you look at the website, which I do agree is horrendous, but um, it's not just for young people. So obviously my mum is nearly 70, 71 years old and this is looking fantastic on her. And the reason for that, again, is we've broadened her out on top. It's still got the three quarter sleeve, so it's hiding her arms for her. We've managed to belt her in here. So this is a belt that we have put on there. Um, ourselves and then the wide leg trouser is absolutely fine in this situation because we've nipped her in at the waist what you want to make sure is that the balance is still there so she still always looks like a hourglass shape if we had widened her down the bottom 
but narrowed her at the top so made that even smaller so didn't add the three quarter sleeves didn't add the shoulder pads then she's suddenly going to look even bigger around her biggest area but right now she's looking lovely and balanced and um proud to say that she's my mum <laughs> and how glam does she look now really really nice the colorings are beautiful on her the blazers are working because they're broadening us on top they're nipping us in on the waist and they're long enough to kick over her thighs so next we've got just a straight leg jean we've put the white trainers on her a plain white t-shirt but I did manage to find her one with three quarter sleeves and it's kind of like a thin fabric as well so it's not the thickness of a thick cotton which is better and then this beautiful puff jacket very casual very I think that's probably as casual as I would ever get you isn't it um yeah I'm happy with this yeah. though you I, are happy with yeah, that you still I, feel a I little bit glad going for a walk yes yeah Going for a walk yeah. so why is it working the funnel collar here is adding volume to this area it's driving the eye attention up notice how we've had the necklace on for i think every single outfit yes. actually we haven't changed it no. at all have no, we no. and i haven't i didn't really point it out but she's also got some lovely gold earrings going on as well i can only see you through a little camera frame and i just see that my head keeps getting cut off so just to take my shoes off just so you can see me a little bit better um so the cap sleeve here is helping to broaden all of this area up the jacket we can pull it in at the waist like that so it's got a a, a drawstring here to create a waist if you prefer that I think just left open like that is really nice as well and then I spoke about earlier on everyone needs a friend in styling so the white t-shirt the white trainers is just keeping it really fresh if you were just to put a green or a grey top in the middle of that oh. it see my mum's just gone oh no <laughs> So that's where I get it from. It would just make that outfit look a lot duller and just not as fresh for kind of a spring or, or summer day. Okay, so just to show you an alternative on that, if the weather was a little bit milder, she's just, oh, you're posing now. You're starting, <laughs> did you see that? She started to go like that. That looks really nice. The white t-shirt keeps it fresh. I've added a little scarf in here just for a little bit of colour and to build the shoulder areas up again. I think the longer layer on my mum actually does help to elongate rather than the shorter layer, but it's not no. always practical. No, no. Um, but I think that looks really nice as well. So, <laughs> Sorry, just one moment. Monty, get down. <laughs> he just, he likes a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> so once he's had a cuddle, he can um, he'll go down. Oh, there we go. Okay, lovely. Love you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be kind to my mum. It took a lot of confidence for her to come uh, today and do this. So, which you always are anyway. Everybody's always so nice. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart of being so nice. If you're not subscribed and you can press that button or the thumbs up, then it really does help me out. It's the reason why I can continue to bring you these videos because the more subscribers I get, the more time I can allocate to the videos and less time that I'm out with my clients all day long basically so i will see you again next week thank you so much see you soon bye bye